Welcome to Fabio's Kitchen. We are cooking your favorite dishes with an Italian twist. If there is a dish that I could only choose one for the rest of my life, would it be today's episode of Fabio's Kitchen, Rigatoni Carbonara. Rigatoni Carbonara, it's a, it's a historical recipe that features a little bit of cream, egg yolk sauce, cured pork belly, usually with pancetta, and a good al dente pasta. It's delicious, it's creamy, it's rich, it's earthy. Uh, there is nothing you're not gonna love about this dish. Now, I'm gonna cook the pasta now because rigatoni will take a good seven, eight minutes in the water. It's a very thick pasta. Most important part of a good carbonara dish is to get your pork belly, pancetta, or bacon. Eh, I don't really like bacon, but pancetta or pork belly really nice and crisp. It's important. And there is nothing wrong with bacon. The recipe comes with bacon too, so it's fine. It's just an American thing. I like Italian things, that's why I use pancetta. Hot pan, lots of fat, no oil, rendering. You hear the sound of success? See that? It's called rendering. It's when a fatty thing cooks in its own fat. There, a good pinch of black pepper, little bit of salt. Now, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna start to shave some Brussels sprouts. They give a good color to the dish, they give a good texture to the dish. I love a nice roasted Brussels sprout. How are we gonna roast them? I'll show you right now. Very simple. Where is that? What is going on there? My pot is about to explode. No, it's not. I just gotta let the lid off and we're good. The pasta is cooking. Salted water with the starchy pasta usually overflow and it gets some foam. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Now, here's what we got here. Brussels sprouts, they're gonna go cook with the pancetta. Because Brussels sprouts is a very earthy vegetable. It needs a good amount of cooking. And the pancetta is rendering, look at this. See that? It's getting nice and crisp. And the pancetta is melting the fat. And the fat is gonna be the cooking liquid for my Brussels sprouts. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. There, Brussels sprouts. Now, if you're like a pro, you can saute things. You can do this, you can saute them backwards, if you're really good like me. See, look at backwards. Because when you saute this way, you get your chef coat all dirty. But when you saute this way, I'm gonna get him dirty. And I like to get him dirty, not me dirty. But if you're not me, you can stir it with a spoon. Just like that. Let the Brussels sprouts cook for just literally two minutes. I'm gonna stir the pasta. So this is important, you gotta stir the pasta. And here's what's gonna happen now. We have two things. We have good broth, and we have eggs. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with this. First of all, crack the egg, save the yolk. Shit! I broke it. Can I get another egg? It happens, guys. It happens. And I would like to keep this into the scene, so please, Nick, don't cut it out. Because I want to make sure that people understand that I do mistakes all the time. You just guys don't get to see it, because we usually cut them out. We're not going to do it. This time, I'm going to own my mistake, and I'm going to get another yolk, because I broke an egg yolk. All right, go ahead. I got this. Yeah, right, go ahead. I was kind of high, but it worked. All right. That's fine. 
All right. Egg yolk right here. Egg yolk. I'm going to mix the egg yolk with a little bit of cream. Why I do this? Because when we're going to add egg yolk to the sauce, you don't want to have a frittata. Egg, hot oil, hot sauce. It's going to coagulate. If you add a little bit of cream to it and you stir it, it's not going to do it. Now, Swanson, chicken broth. I like this a lot. Besides being one of my favorite brands, I always use this. Widely available, you can find them anywhere. You're not going to have over seasoning problem with your dish. Remember, you have pancetta or bacon. Those are things that are naturally salted. So you have to get a good brand of broth like this because it's important not to over season your food. Now I have the broth there. Here's what's gonna happen. The broth is there. I'm gonna add some cream to it. Then I'm gonna get these aside. Right here. And I'm gonna get my Parmesan ready. Now, Parmesan is an option. You can use Grana Padano, you can use Pecorino. Any cheese that can be grated, it is good for these, all right? Pasta is nice and al dente. Take it out of the water. And here's what you're gonna do. I suggest that highly. Get your pasta there. And if you feel that it's still a little bit too al dente, add some more broth and let it cook for a minute or two. High fire, just let it sit there. Let it cook for a minute or two. The steam, the broth, the bean submerged in liquid, it will cook it. When this is reduced, about three minutes, I'm gonna add the egg yolk, saute really quick, Parmesan, and it's out. Again, I do the teaching, chef does the shopping and the shipping, and you do the cooking. We'll be right back in a few minutes. All right, guys, three minutes. Now the most important part of the dish, the, the part that if you snooze, you lose. Cut the fire off. Wait 30 seconds. It's very important to be off the fire here. I explain you why. I explain you why because the reality is that if you're off the fire, you can't overcook your eggs. Here's the most important part right now. The part where more, most people lose. Want to add just a little extra broth to it to make it a little bit more liquid. Ready? Ready? That's how you do it. Done. And the sauce will become to thicken up. See how it does it? See how thick it gets? Because the heat will slowly cook the eggs while keeping it creamy. And now the rain a parmesan will hit the ground. Look at that. What? Check this out. All right. It's a very rich dish. It's a lot of parmesan, a lot of cheese, good creamy sauce, egg yolk. Pork is there, the Brussels sprouts, pasta al dente. It's delicious. And this dish is very good. So please, when you guys take a picture of these, I would like to eat some. And I know you guys are all hungry and you don't like to share. So, nice, delicious. Rigatoni Carbonara, you're watching Fabio's Kitchen. Boom. Hey guys, if you like this dish, please share it and subscribe to my channel.